Well, hey there, everybody. Who's in the mood for some good old-fashioned family entertainment? Exclamation point, question mark, exclamation point. Well, good, because we watched A Talking Cat? Exclamation point, question mark, exclamation point. And by the way, is the name of this podcast B-Movie yeah. Mania? Yeah. Exclamation point, question mark, exclamation point. Meow. Meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. Did I hear an actual cat? <laughs> yeah, it was an actual cat. <laughs> meow, meow, meow. Welcome to the crossroads of camp, the bastion of the bazaar, the place where low budgets meet high praise. Yes, it's B-Movie Mania. <laughs> and now, B-Movie Maniacs, here are your hosts, the cream of the crap, the connoisseurs of cult, your cinematic creepy uncles, Paul Brooks, Mike Hayes, Jason Hulls, and Crazy Chris Hudson. Oh, good evening, good day, B-Movie Maniacs, wherever you may be. Welcome to yet another episode of B-Movie Mania. I am your host for this evening, Paul S. Brooks, and uh, with me as always are three, well, human beings that need a lot of help because humans need a lot of help. Mike Hayes, <laughs> Jason Hulls, Meow. and Crazy Chris Hudson. Meow. <laughs> I think you were supposed to say nom nom nom. Did oh. someone say my name? <laughs> nom nom nom. Did someone say my name? Oh boy. I gotta kind of slur it a little bit. Nom, nom, nom. Did someone mention my name? <laughs> Uh, never mind. <laughs> uh, guys, as you know, we watched a film recently called A Talking Cat. Wait, which, a uh, talking cat? A talking cat? A, a talking cat! <laughs> exclamation point, question mark, exclamation point. Uh, <laughs> if I am not mistaken, the film came out in 2013. Let me just check IMDb just yes. to make sure that I got that right. Yeah, I believe that's correct. Yes. Okay, cool. You know what? Let's uh, let's just get into it, guys. I'm going to do a quick IMDb synopsis, and then I'll turn you loose. A sassy feline helps a family resolve its problems. Quick takes. Quick takes. Um, let's just go in the order that I introduced you. Mike Hayes, lay it on me. A talking cat. What what are your feelings? This movie had everything you want in a film. Dastardly deeds, dames, and daring deuce. Yes, that's all true. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Jason Hulls. Oh, man. Um, one, has there ever been a better use of punctuation in a movie title? <laughs> Clearly not. Probably not. Um, also, you know, th this, this movie is going to be interesting for me because I had a couple late things that happened that really kind of adjusted my view of the whole thing. So I'm looking forward to, looking forward to getting into that. Okay. Oh, shit. And uh, Crazy Chris Hudson, I hear you've been... What are, you, what are you drinking over there tonight? Well, I'm drinking a bottle of Sonoma County's finest wine. That's, mm -hmm. that's why they call it that, wine. Checks out, <laughs> checks out. And what would you think of a talking cat? Well, they had a talking cat, and that's where the name comes from. Because he's a talking cat. Are you doing Eugene from The Walking Dead, or are you doing the guy from Sling Blade? I'm kind of doing Eric Roberts from A, a Talking Cat. A Talking Cat? Because he mumbles every line of dialogue. <laughs> well, there's a good reason for that. Yeah, we, we clearly have a lot to get into, so... Uh... Paul, hold on. I, 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 we can't go any further without... I, okay, yeah, okay, look, okay. I, this entire movie had this music going over like 90% <laughs> of it, right? Chris, do you remember what that music sound like? Yeah. Do, 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 yeah, it's do, like cutesy family do, music. Do, do, do. So I demand that this podcast have that kind of music 
under the whole thing. Uh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Or or do you mean the reggae version of La Cucaracha? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just call playing. it family fun genre of music. Okay. <laughs> so start that right now. Let's start that right now. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I, mean, I guess I'm doing the edit on this. A little, so, so Paul, go ahead and start that right there now. There we go. Oh, we got God. permission. Yeah. Yeah. The soundtrack was all royalty free too, wasn't it? So you shouldn't be able to I get would the exact assume, music. Yeah, I can music. probably just find the exact same soundtrack somewhere. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> Uh, yeah, oh I was I was just going to say our story begins and, and right off the bat, we're hit with two things. Some light, whimsical music. So there you go. We got it going. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and and our titular talking cat, Duffy. Oh, yeah. Who wants it? Let's I, talk about the elephant in the room. I here. can do it. Can I do, yeah, can my, I do my the elephant please? in the room? <laughs> well, the elephant, the elephant by the name of Eric Roberts. No, can, no. Guy, guy, guys, can I do my impression, please? Yeah, go. go. Okay, one second. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm I'm Duffy, a, a talking cat. What's that? <laughs> oh, hold on, let me. Hold on. <laughs> Hi, I, I'm oh, hi, I'm Duffy, a talking cat. Uh, okay, I didn't, I didn't quite hear uh, that. Uh, Hopefully, me, it comes through in the edit. Uh, let me just hold on. One, one, I got. Hi, I'm Duffy, the talking cat. That's pretty close. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, pretty close. Pretty good. I like the woods. I always have. You don't get me wrong. I like to be indoors in a nice, fluffy bed as much as anyone. In fact, more than anyone, probably. Eric Roberts voiced Duffy, the talking cat, and uh, you guys probably know that there's a little bit of trivia out there in regards <laughs> to his voiceover work that he did for this film. Yeah. Yep. Please, tell me which 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 fast food bathroom he recorded this in. <laughs> well, okay, I it wrote in like my, a Carl's Jr. In my <laughs> notes, I wrote he must have recorded this in his living room. I didn't know that he actually did. <laughs> you were right. Oh. I have that exact same note, Jay. Yeah, according to IMDb, I believe he did the whole thing in 15 minutes. The whole movie. Jeez. And it, it shows. And it, it honestly, spending another 5 to 10 minutes on, on the dialogue wouldn't have helped. I think no. it's perfect. Yeah. It's perfect yeah. the way it is. 15 minutes is all a master like Eric Roberts needs. Did you catch the Doctor Who reference there, Paul? Matthew Master. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a little over my head. <laughs> Somehow 15 minutes of recording this did still didn't give them enough dialogue because when the cat robot resets in this movie, it just says the like the beginning line of like it booting up its system again. And it's really weird. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't cat think of it robot. as a robot. Yeah, when but. when the cat robot reboots, uh, kind of at the like whatever part of the movie, he uh, he goes, "Um, uh, I hold on." <laughs> <laughs> I'm Duffy, a talking cat. But we've already <laughs> known about Duffy for a very long time, and we know about all the rules about him talking and everything. I'm Duffy. I'm a talking cat. Mike, Mike, he's reintroducing himself, kind of like Frosty the Snowman says, Happy birthday! I'm a talking cat. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, we gotta move this along or it's gonna be a long night. Oh, boy. Uh, so we get some opening credits and then we're introduced to a few of our hey, main characters. Speaking of long, can I just say, oh, God, God damn it, Chris. <laughs> it's, I think no, they Chris, were, it's not they time. Were they were legally obligated to show just one name on the screen at a time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was it was drawn. This it, whole thing is drawn and out. It, they, um, they put uh, on so many like Photoshop filters <laughs> of, of like a fucking thing. It's it was good. It was good stuff. Uh, <laughs> but after that, we're introduced to some of our main characters. We 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 got Phil, who's uh, played by Johnny Whitaker, a, a child actor. I like Phil. Uh, and his twink son, Chris. Excuse you. <laughs> and uh, which I just want to say there, there might be a little crossover. Yeah, crazy Chris. But I think there's a little crossover between uh, Chris, not me, the other Chris in the movie, um, and the director's other film work. But we can get into that a little later. Yeah. 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 Well, we'll I'm sure we'll get into all sorts of stuff. But but Chris, <laughs> how how would you describe uh, the the house that these two dudes live in. Um, I would say it is exactly like 
the set used for the 2011 pornographic movie Jules Jordan Presents Ass Worship 13. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing because it is because the same it is house. The same. <laughs> Did you guys notice how tall the door was, by the way? Oh my god. It is just your typical Malibu sort of McMansion where the sound echoes like a motherfucker <laughs> and it's not good. And there's the driftwood statue in stripper boots. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and they pay, and they call attention to the, the driftwood first. statue for no reason. It's the first thing our, <laughs> our hero it? says. Yeah, he walks in, we don't know what's happening, and the first thing out of uh, Whitaker's mouth is, This thing is hideous. <laughs> What was I thinking? <laughs> <laughs> um, so along the way here, we, we get the rest of our main characters. You got Franny, you got Susan, Trent, and uh, Tina, who is played by an actor by the name of Janice Peebles, a.k.a. J. Peebs, as I like to call her. <laughs> uh-huh. And right. uh, guys, just a little, a little quick story. I know someone who used to go out with, with Janice, and... Uh, I said, hey, I would love to chat with her about, you know, her career and, and about a talking cat. And the message that came back to me oh, no. was, she's okay with doing the interview as long as we don't talk about a talking cat. <laughs> <laughs> she won't talk about oh, it. That's probably all so, she gets asked about. <laughs> yeah, it's gotta be. Yeah. We got this. The mom, though, Paul. Uh, yeah, Susan. Susan. Yeah, so Susan. we should we should make sure all the dynamic. We everyone knows the rules. Uh, the whatever is his name. Uh, Phil is the dad. Chris right. is right. the son. And then there's Susan, the mom of her two kids, uh, yeah. Tina and Trent. And then Franny is like a, a, a school friend. Um, but the mom is played by Christine DeBell. <laughs> I just want to say. What a fantastic introduction scene she's got where she's walking around. She's apparently a caterer that she cooks everything in her home kitchen. And she's running around looking for her shoes because she can't wear open-toed sandals to this catering thing she's bringing food for because no one wants toes in their cheese puffs. <laughs> That's true. That's and true. it's like a 10-minute long scene that she's looking for her shoes. And thankfully, Duffy the talking cat is there to show her where the shoes are. Hi there. Is that a cat? Four paws, kind of furry, yep. I think so. Wonder what it wanted. My stinky shoes, apparently. Can you put that in the car for me, sweetheart? Yeah. Thanks. And they keep the cat on there with the laser pointer, and you can totally oh, see. Please, some I can't shoes. take it anymore. Someone, please, just say what Susan's from. <laughs> All right, Mike. Okay. They may not want. They may not want toes in this movie's cheese puffs. But what, uh -oh. what B-movie royalty movie was she starring in that maybe they would? <laughs> they want more than that, well, the cheese puffs. A little, a little more than toes. She starred in the 24-hour B-movie marathon alum, Alice in Wonderland, an X-rated musical Fantasia. Star. Oh, I didn't know Starred. that. She, it is. she plays the titular Alice. <laughs> I, I get it. Wah, wah. It is. It is her first <laughs> yeah. credited movie. Yeah, I. Well, now I'm really gonna have to watch. I slept through that last yeah. last year. You I'm really gonna have to check yeah, it out. I just now. woke it's... up to like very graphic images on the screen, <laughs> and then I'd pass out again, and I'd wake up, and there's more graphic images. <laughs> it was the most bizarre movie we watched that entire marathon. But yeah, Mike, that's that's kind of what I was gonna get into next. Just sort of a little bit of a description of of what our characters sort of. Um, I guess you'd say motivations are, although that's kind of a loose term. Well, I think I think Kristen DeBell's is to do a complete career 180, so she doesn't have to do porn. Eh, she's done other work for this director, though, so... <laughs> a lot. <laughs> like a talking pony? <laughs> hold, hold your horses there, Chris. We'll get into that a little bit later. Can I ask a quick question about Phil? Yeah. Um, so, Phil did just retire, and he comes in and he says his business is sold, and... He's worked on code half his life. Yes. So I was hoping, Chris, as a computer person, um, maybe you could tell us what kind of code takes half of someone's life to complete. <laughs> Jay, working half your life on code involves things like changing up some of the algorithms, getting lists of variables, and maybe getting some recognition software. Oh, so well, okay, That's but exactly like exactly what that takes. If if he's working on code for half his life, isn't like in a couple of years does he just start over again? Is that what's happening? Well, probably what happens is uh, he forgets to save or uh, commit <laughs> his 
oh. his code to his local source control repository, and he just loses everything. So he's got to start from scratch every, every couple oh, Phil. years. <laughs> Phil, Phil, Phil. He's a genius. <laughs> uh, but but Phil's son Chris uh, is mainly trying to chat up Franny, who he is tutoring for some kind of unknown reason. She's having problems um, in English. I didn't really get that. Huh? She's having problems in English. Okay, fine. Uh, <laughs> Tina is trying to get a job, basically. And in business. No, she's trying to go to business school. She wants business to go. To, she really wants to go to business school so she can open business. Yes, <laughs> and 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 her mom Susan is quite busy making cheese puffs and clearly drink every time someone says cheese puffs in this movie. <laughs> oh yes. yeah. Drinking rules. Hey, but they're really good cheese puffs. Come on. They did look good. Mm -hmm. Trent has absolutely no clue what he's doing with his life. It's a, it's a sad story. He's drawing a fence. That counts. <laughs> yeah, that's about it. Oh, and he likes to swim. For some reason, uh, Duffy the cat starts talking to Jay Peebs, and Mike, how would you describe <laughs> the CGI used for Duffy's mouth? Uh, I think it's... Ooh. I, I mean, it kind of looks like construction paper could have done it, but yeah, I, I think actually South Park may have looked uh, technically better <laughs> than that. So, no, it looks like they just put a little black thing and then like squiggled its nose up and down with like a <laughs> pen tool or something. I don't know. It looks real good. It stretch. It just stretches it out real bad. Now, now I just want to say though that the the lip movements absolutely do not mouth. Or do not match Eric Roberts' perfect dialogue. No. Not at all. No. I'm not. sure Eric Roberts' mouth doesn't match his perfect dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sure he didn't. <laughs> Whatever that means. I don't. <laughs> um, and Duffy, like I said, makes this decision that he's going to help all of them out. And he starts by talking to Tina. You're a cat. Read your machine. And you're talking? How? Who? <laughs> what? Tina. The sort of thing is exactly what a quote unquote human whisperer does. <laughs> yeah, well, he is a human whisperer. He, he tells us. He is. He tells us. Yes, a talking he does. cat tells us. And he starts talking to Tina, but he tells her that he can only speak to her once because, <laughs> quote, it's the rules. Uh -huh. Please read your machine. I can only speak to you once. It's the rules. Okay. I will. Uh, whose rules Duffy is playing by is <laughs> unbeknownst to me. Well, I think it's fairly obvious, but we can get into that later. Uh, what's wait, that? I mean, I can give. I can start with the cat facts now if you want some cat facts. Well, wait, wait. Uh, what? Oh God, do I have to do a sound bite where you're saying cat facts? Yeah, yeah. You already did it, so this is perfect. Cat facts. Do your cat facts involve the talking cat getting his powers from the Prince of Magic? Prince, Prince of Magic. Uh, <laughs> oh, come on now. Uh, no, no, but I wouldn't. I, the Prince of Magic may be involved. Prince. Prince. I just want to point out the fact that obviously this movie is about how cats are actually aliens who have come to Earth to spy on us. Oh. So obviously the rules are from their commanders and all that kind of stuff. So I don't want to get too deep into this stuff. I'll save some more cat facts for later. Okay. But, um, okay. you know, just I just want to point that out. That's one cat. Interesting fact. theory. Mm -hmm. Nom, 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 nom. Yeah, okay, speaking of nom, nom, I would love to see Eric Roberts <laughs> sitting in his living room making sounds like he's lapping up milk. Nom, nom, nom. Did someone mention my name? <laughs> uh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> it happened. It it's did. a thing that happened. <laughs> yeah. I, just, I imagine he might have had some, like, you know, goldfish or something. He just put one in his mouth and then... Nom, 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 well, Of course nom, he'd nom. want goldfish. He's a talking cat. That's nom, true. nom. <laughs> this... <clears throat> It's so delicious. No, 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 no. Did somebody say my name? So, so, per his instructions, essentially, she gets on her laptop and learns that Phil has retired. And Jason Hall's, I thought it was a pretty touching scene, really. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> well, when, he, when she learns that he retires, she, they're looking at the press release, and it says, like, Globe Tech and Global Tech and... Yeah, it's just good. Good. it's a good website. It's good Great design. Website. Jay, how do you know what it could possibly say? How could you have seen it? I read it. <laughs> what do you mean? Where did you read it? Yeah, how? What do you mean? Where did I read it? I paused it. No, you didn't. <laughs> you, you didn't, didn't need to pause, pause it. it. 
<laughs> you just let it it's on happen. the screen for three and a half yeah, minutes. Yeah. <laughs> you can read the whole press release in the movie. Oh, it cuts, keeps cutting back, and then she slowly scrolls down more. <laughs> hey, hey, it, but <gasps> we're, we're missing the true mystery. Who put the website on her beatbox's screen? Yeah, what's with hmm. that? How come Eric Roberts knows how to manipulate people and talk, but he still calls computers beeping machines and phones he calls beeping <laughs> machines? He's a different race. Here's another cat fact for you. Cat facts! <laughs> if, if you take a cat and push its ears back, it looks exactly like a gray alien. Big, wide I, almond eyes, uh, small nose, know, small mouth. It is exact. Okay. Hey, Mike. All right. Mike, I'm gonna have to. I don't know. Mike, I'm starting to, starting to think that your cat facts are bullshit facts. Uh, <laughs> all right. Well, you tell you, out. you tell the Illuminati that when, when mm. you and when you, so you say that their ears aren't the exact shape mm. of the I fucking will. pyramid. Right. As soon as I finish eating this popcorn, I'm going to the top, the very top. Ow! Nom, 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 no nom, cheese nom. puffs, Chris. Mm. Popcorn. Why are you eating mm. popcorn while we're recording a podcast? Yeah, what are you yeah, doing? What, yeah. Mal thought she just brave gave me a bowl of popcorn. Well, what am give I supposed it back. to do? Not give eat it, it back. Loud enough with this fucking chair and his drink. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, you know what? I got this wine. Mmm. That's that's quieter. Mm. Do you want to just uh, like should we just wait for you to like just eat and drink and <laughs> like no. creak okay, in your guys, chair give and cough. Chris 30 seconds. Let's give Chris 30 seconds Here. to do what he needs to I've do. I moved my popcorn out of reach. Put oh, not your oh, mouth. Oh. <laughs> well, it's out of reach. I can't reach in my mouth to take the popcorn out. We don't hear the popcorn. We hear you chewing the popcorn. <laughs> uh, if anyone's if anyone's been listening to B Movie Mania this long enough, they know that Chris <laughs> provides the ambiance for the show. God, it's just not it's just not the same. Yeah, I hope I'm this missing. is all in. I hope this all stays. Uh, so Duffy. Uh, <laughs> He sets out to basically talk to everyone in the film uh, once to, to the set them, you know, on the right path in their life. And uh, n next up is Phil. He tells Phil to go for a walk. Duffy? You should take a walk in the woods. What's going on here? Wait, can I take this one? <laughs> uh, Jay, go right ahead. I'm uh, going to take a pee. Okay. Uh, so talk for at least 45 seconds. Duffy oh, no. sa says, um, Phil, go take a walk in the woods. Uh, no, Paul, that's it. And and, and this is, <laughs> I, I, I'll save Paul a little bit for this. This is, okay, so this is the second person he's talked to. And when, right. I, when this happened, I looked and it was 30 minutes in. Because yeah. when I watched this the first time, I went... I had that thought of, is this even a talking cat movie or does the cat just talk at like narrator? And I was, I was under the impression that was the case until sudden, oh, we're keep, Paul, don't edit this pee out. It took Holy a little too crap. long. Oh. oh, if Paul can pee, I can eat popcorn. Well, yeah, while he's peeing, butter it up. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. but yeah, I thought it was going to be one of those, you know, narrated things, but it is not. It suddenly surprised you. I thought it would be more you. of a, a thinking cat. Hey, yeah. you know what? This Something movie like is filled with life lessons, okay? For one, <laughs> it, almost immediately you get hit with the life lesson. Um, you know, it's about kids that are or parents trying to help their kids find their mm -hmm. way in life. Um, we're too obsessed with technology and not living. Yep, yep. Hmm. We're spending too much time indoors. We're not going outside yeah, enough. Exactly, exactly. At, you know, at the, and at the exactly. heart of the whole story, it's about uh, it's about a family. It is. It really is. And, a, right. and about our feline overlords who are spying on us and who eventually oh, will no. take over. No, no, no. Well, no. I mean, <laughs> well, that's just, okay. a, no. just another cat fact. Cat facts! So, Jay, tell me if you uh, got into this or not. He goes on this walk. He It leads him to meeting Susan, right? Yep. You know, it, seem, it seems to me like they really hit it off. They both love Humphrey Bogart. They do. That's true. Uh, so some shit happens, and, um... <laughs> the movie ends. I, think, I don't know. I think we also both love Alice in Wonderland. Uh, <laughs> and, and, I didn't catch no. that. Are you just, no. is that, is that, like, part of your fanfic? I didn't I, catch any of that Yeah, the yeah, they both really like Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> I may be blending fantasy and reality here, but... Alright, so he gets told, told to go walk in the woods, and he puts on a shirt, which I believe this is supposed to be a kid's movie, <laughs> but not for any Spanish-speaking children, no. because his t-shirt says, one damn day at a time, in Spanish. <laughs> and but it's I in Spanish, it. so it's okay for kids. 
Yeah, yeah. I guess the the. Yeah. Never mind. I'm not going to get into are, that. Are but... Spanish children exposed to swear words earlier in life than? I would like not get kids? into that either. I. <laughs> All right. I, I think it really boils down to the inconsideration of the filmmakers, but let's get past that. <laughs> I do want to. I do want to ask Jay how how he thinks American children might feel about this movie. Oh man, you know. Okay, you want me to tell you about this now? Um, so <laughs> I watched it, you know, a couple days ago, and I was doing other things while I was watching it, but enough that I paid attention to the whole thing and I took my you notes little, and all that stuff. You have a little boy, but. I do, and so today I'm like, all right, we're putting this on again. Mike put it on. I'm like, we got time. I want to show it to Aaron. I'm like, this will be funny. So I put it on, and Logan, like, is just zeroed in on it. Like, oh, man. won't look away from this. And then I started. Logan is what two and a half? Lo- yeah, and I and we started going a talking cat, and then he just ran around saying a talking cat over and over again. <laughs> So there's an audience for this thing. Yeah, it's. I think it's the music. See, I, uh, kids might like this particular episode of our podcast because we have all this music going on. Oh, God, yeah, I forgot the music is playing over all this, <laughs> yeah, isn't it? Yeah. How could you forget? Shit. You can hear it, Paul. <laughs> yeah. I, well, yeah. A lot, there's a lot of things that happen in this movie that just don't matter, and I'm just kind of, I'm just going to gloss over it. If there's anything that anybody wants to say, you're more than welcome to. You know, bottom line, eventually Phil ends up back over at Susan's place. They clearly got a little something, something going on. Uh, and Mike, Phil, Phil drops the cheese puffs on the floor, okay? Bill, don't freak out. Don't freak out. My cheese puffs. Oh, I'm so sorry. I did. I did. I mean, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't be mad. I, and <laughs> Phil freaks out. Can we just say, though, that, yeah, he drops the cheese puffs on the floor after almost being run over by some asshole kid Subaru. This is true. Well, also, did you notice the big the big mistake in that scene too, where uh, <laughs> Susan takes well, the, the puffs? Well, Su- Susan grabs the the cheese puffs right out of the oven and says they're hot, but she's not wearing any gloves, so the oven oh. clearly wasn't on. <laughs> and then he drops them. Yeah, Jay, if your hands had been where Kristen DeBell's hands have been, oh boy, you, oh, would, boy. you wouldn't need them. There's just not even any skin on there anymore. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 God. Oh. <laughs> yes, yes, that... Yes. What are you trying to say, Mike? I can't even... Oh. <laughs> um, so he comes over, but has he already... Has, has Duffy... Duffy doesn't talk for half an hour, and then he talks to everyone within, like, five minutes. Yes. Yeah, it happens pretty quick. <laughs> hey, hey, not everyone. He doesn't talk to Franny. He doesn't talk to Susan, either. Doesn't talk to Susan. Oh, yeah, he never did talk to Franny. No, he did. He did. Yes, he did. Yeah. He talked to Franny. No, I don't think he did no. talk to Franny. No, by the pool. I don't think so. I he talked to pool. us, not to Franny. Yeah. Uh, yep. I think he, you guys are missing the fact that it was a subliminal message to our brains because cats are able to actually transmit, you know. Okay, so like that. after <laughs> he drops the cheese puffs. <laughs> well, I mean, this this is a major sort of crisis because Susan has these cheese puffs ready for her, like, investment meeting or whatever. Right. Phil straight up drops them on the floor. Whoops. And so Phil and Tina go over to to his place to make new cheese puffs and talk about oh, yeah, business opportunities. Do. Well, and they Tina sure sneaks do. away. She's not supposed to yes. go. Yes. Without her right. phone, may I add. And this uh, this ends up causing a lot of tension between Susan and Phil. There's basically a big blow up inside Phil's mansion wherever where we get Jay. What would you call this in terms of uh, screenwriting technique? The uh, darkest. What's it called? <laughs> well, I don't. I guess it could be the Dark Knight of the Soul, but I. I don't know if this it totally movie cares. is. No, it totally is. <laughs> okay, it's this is the Dark Knight of the Soul. This is the yes, part is. where everything is just going to hell. I, d- I just want to say that this is where my personal Dark Knight of the Soul happened when Phil <laughs> totally abuses the computer jargon that I said earlier in the show. What do you mean? Algorithm? Well, well, when when Trina is showing Phil her her website, I guess, and Phil says Trina, Trina, Trini, what's what is her name? Tina, Tina. J. Th- there's a hey, there's an R in there somewhere, and it's probably in some of the computer jargon I'm about to say. But algorithm? she's showing off algorithm. There, there's the R. But he shows he she shows him the website, and 
Phil really thinks she's got something there. I mean, all he'd need to do yeah. is change up some of the algorithms, you know, compile a list of variables, get some recognition software. Hey, you got a website. You got a stew going. You got a stew going. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think about my idea? Well, you know, I've got a buddy who has a similar engine. If we change up some of the algorithms, get a list of variables, uh, get some recognition software, uh, change... It's a thumb drive. I've been working on the math for a long time. I think I have the right list of variables and the basics for an algorithm, but I need help. You're just a teenage girl, right? Not like any teenage girl I ever knew. We could be nerds now, too. I guess you can. I think this leads us into the most important lesson the movie has to teach us, is that girls can be nerds now, too. Oh, yeah. Another important so lesson. True. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And also, young boys can swim together. <laughs> well, well, yeah, okay. You gotta watch out for the pool sharks, though. <laughs> you got just um, the tip poking out of the water. Just just the tip poking what? out of the water. Only the tip swimming Wait, through. What? Going uh, for the young no, men. No, the tip we're getting of the down. pool shark. Okay. We're, we're getting into 1313 territory. Uh, this is not oh this director's Oh boy, movie. that's a whole nother ballgame. <laughs> um, so yeah, well, I mean, my next note here, we might as well do this. Trent goes over to Phil's mansion. I, I'm not really sure why, but it happens. To find Tina. Yeah, he's got to get Tina. Yeah. And yeah. to swim okay. with young Chris. Yeah, and he teaches Chris how to swim, and Jay, I feel like you might have something to say about this scene. Well, I mean, <laughs> come on. I mean, it's just, it, it oh. plays like the ramp up to a porn scene. <laughs> Do you think you could teach non-kids how to swim? Sure. No problem. I just may have to come over a lot this summer and make sure the pool is up to snuff. Sure, whatever you need. Eh? As long as I can swim without sinking. <laughs> um, that's the easy part. Get in. It just gives off a, a, a bit of a vibe. Oh, and that's yeah. Obviously fine. And, it don't, not, but and just to be clear, that is not the only time in the film that that kind of thing happens. <laughs> right. I mean, it happens between Tina and Phil <laughs> in the kitchen. Does it? Oh, yeah. Well, it happens between Phil and Chris in the very first scene. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Let's get that pizza. It got, guys, it happens to everyone in every single one of the director's movies. Yeah. We can't ignore who it is. Right, right. What's go, what, what is this? What, let's talk a little bit about the director. It seems like an <laughs> opportune time. Because I'll tell you, it's not Mary Crawford. No. <laughs> the, are you saying that's a pseudonym, Mike? Yeah, it's a something <laughs> Um His name, what's his name? David? Uh, David Dakotu, I think is how you pronounce it, or something. He's famous. He's made a ton of movies, like 90 plus 100 movies. Yeah. And he's famous mostly for kind of inventing a, a movie style, I think is called like boxer brief <laughs> porn or something or whatever. Or Where whatever, it's not Mike. Hardcore porn, but it's like it's getting young, handsome men to walk around like a mansion, like the thirteen thirteen series, which this guy made, um, <laughs> and make them walk around and do mundane things, just like all right, uh, clean the pool, and it's just just five minutes of cleaning the pool, which you can kind of see in the directing style of this film, not just yeah. the, what we talked about here, but in how long stuff takes right. and how like boring everything is. <laughs> um, Didn't we try to watch Cougar Club one time? <laughs> oh, oh yeah. fucking Cougar Cult! Good gods almighty! Yep, that's him. yeah. Yep, that's the that's same him. guy. Yeah, so he's famous for that kind of stuff. Uh, so yeah, but but if you if you look at uh, his biography on IMDb, not bad. Yeah. It says that he no. got his start from a generous offer from movie legend Roger Corman, yeah. uh, and then later on he produced his fir first feature film for another generous film legend, Charles Band, who we are both of yeah. those guys we're quite oh, no. familiar with. He did with. some of the Puppet yeah. Master movies, right? He did some shit. Some of the later ones? Yeah. He's yeah. done some good stuff. He, no, he, uh, in no way discrediting this gentleman. Yeah. He has done oh, a yeah. lot of stuff. I'm just yeah. just mentioning that the mild homoeroticism that <laughs> happens in a few of these scenes is on par. <laughs> Nothing wrong with it. It's just on par. I mean, I wouldn't mind shooting a movie over... I, I'm going to look into it and see if I can shoot something over this place. I probably mean, do it next week. Yeah. Just call him. <laughs> <laughs> just call him up. Uh, what are you doing? A bunch of shit happens again that really doesn't matter. Uh, None of it matters. 
none of this matters until tragedy. Until Duffy gets hit by a car. Tragedy. Uh, and Chris, Duffy's in some pretty rough shape here. <coughs> oh my this, this, this was this was a hard scene oh, to watch. Was, I, I had tears streaming oh, from sorry, my crying. eyes during this. Scene. Why is that? Why well, is that? Probably mostly because I was laughing so hard. <laughs> <laughs> Duffy is just l lying on a bed. He's just lying on a bed, and his head. I mean, he's in really bad shape. I mean, the vet said he was in really bad shape. So, it's like guts hanging out of him, or. Well, gauze loosely wrapped around his head. Like, very, <laughs> kind of, more really kind of draped over his head, not even really wrapped. The cat's just moving like normal. It's just, it's like... <laughs> the cat's just lying down, wondering oh why the fuck he's got gauze on, my, on his head. Oh. 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 Wow. <laughs> he's a good cat. Yeah, he is. The, the, they keep cutting to like five second intervals, if that even, oh of how long the cat wasn't like trying to claw it off of his body. <laughs> like, <laughs> and, and this sort of, um, this unfortunate situation does sort of lead everyone to come together, even though they're going through some, some problems. Yeah, they, they, they head into the the bedroom where, where Duffy is attempting to recuperate. <laughs> and this is, this is when they all realize that it, it all comes together. They all realize that Duffy has spoken to them. I don't know what it is about that cat. It's like he spoke to all of us. Why are you looking at each other like that? Duffy, you spoke to all of us. And they come up with this plan. I just, seeming to me, seemingly out of nowhere to, <laughs> to, to find his collar which is somehow going to save his life? Well, Trent was told about the collar. Yeah. Yeah. Earlier. Okay, just, did I miss just that? Just hidden, hidden in the woods yeah. from his original owner, which What the fuck happened to his original owner? Well, his original owner is is the gray aliens. Oh, right. From so, so, from another So everybody yeah. goes to the woods and <laughs> the they all split up in the woods, but yet somehow they're all together. <laughs> it's Well, the directions that that, that Duffy gives Trent is and there's a collar my original owner gave me buried under a grove of magical trees due north of here it's near a fallen tree <laughs> and just through a hedge it looks like a fuzzy green wall the collar is what lets me help people oh okay but like wow. when they go to find the collar it's l just laying on a rock <laughs> <laughs> on top of on top of cat food <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah if, if you pay close attention I saw at least one scene where there's a like a cat treat on a couch oh, yeah. to like get get the cat to get up yeah. there. Can I say real quick that this collar looks nothing like anything that would be left by gray aliens? Hmm. Some sort of like Mike, you got a up, comment about that? Burned out hemp collar kind of thing. Well, <laughs> Christopher, this gives me a good time for another cat fact. Cat facts. <laughs> Cats are originally showed up on this planet during the times of the ancient Egyptians. And so this is a reed, a ceremonial reed necklace that was woven by ancient Egyptians that has given the magical power to, you know, to a cat. Because this, this is proven because historically there is no, no documentation of, of domesticated cats before the Egyptian civilization. So that's that's just solid proof. Right. Solid now, proof. Now what about magic solid trees, Mike? Proof Explain the aliens. magic trees the collars are buried under. Or you know, well, it's probably like the, or the rocks they're laying on. Yeah, the rocks they're laying on. It's probably the it's probably the collar is what gives magic to the trees. Oh <laughs> shit! It all makes sense now. It all makes oh, so much boy. sense. <laughs> the bottom line here is they find the collar, they put it on Duffy, and for some fucking reason, <laughs> it creates this glowing green ball that sort of like. <clears throat> Floats from Duffy like into the sky. What's well, one of his lives that came from the collar? <laughs> okay. Yeah, that he did the, say that. Yeah. That the Greys gave him. <laughs> Phil says we did something. What happened? We did something. I'm Duffy. I'm a talking cat. Like that's yeah. it. He just says yeah. he did something. <laughs> Nobody knows a what's thing happening. Happened. He might as well have said a thing happened. A thing happened. It might. 
<laughs> it might be my favorite line from any movie. <laughs> it is amazing. What? They're like, what? What happened? And he's like, we did something. We did something. <laughs> it's so All right, but that's I, fine. I have a theory, and I, and and Mike, I want to run it past you in particular because you, right. you seem to be into this this conspiracy theory here. I don't know. We, ha- I'm I'm really surprised that we haven't really touched on this as too much, but there is an actual s- kind of pseudo sequel to this movie. Um, <laughs> it's called The Talking Pony! Exclamation point! Question mark! Exclamation point! Uh huh. And I'm wondering, this this glowing green ball, is it somehow the the force or the energy that allows an animal to talk to people? So so did that ball? glowing green ball transfer from Duffy into the pony from the next movie? Paul, that is so weird. <laughs> <laughs> I I genuinely watched a talking pony? No. <laughs> oh my yes. god. And then I woke up and recorded a very special episode of my video web series, Good Morning Bad Movie. Oh yeah. Uh, where I described it. And I, I will release it. Um, you know, we'll release it during this when we got this. So either it was up or we'll be coming up. Um, okay, however so, that works. so there you go. If you've ever, ever had a reason to go to bmoviemania.com, now is your chance. <laughs> Yeah. Go to a Talking Cat episode and click down below and watch Mike's video of of his thoughts from Good Morning Bad Movie. Hey, can I make this even more weird? Uh huh. In in a Talking Pony, Johnny Whitaker, who plays Phil, is the voice of the pony. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah, there there are a there are a handful of actors and actresses that are in the movie as well. I assume that it's all it's all the same universe, though. All different roles. Well, I'm they're guess, all different I'm roles, I'm guessing Jay Peebs was not involved. I forget. It was one of those uh, young women was in it. Hold it was on. probably uh, Fernie or whatever her name. Fer- Fergie? Franny? Franny? Franny. 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 <laughs> <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Oh, and then and then and then everyone lives uh, happily ever after the end. Yeah, I'm Duffy. I'm a talking cat. <laughs> God totally damn forgot. It. Can we do ratings? <sighs> <laughs> I'm letting you guys, go. Uh, Mike. Any more cat facts? Yes, Paul. Of course, I do have another cat fact. Cat facts. <laughs> have you ever noticed how when you're watching cat videos online? you start to feel your soul come out of your eyes and into the screen of the computer or phone you're watching on. God, that's so true. Wait, wait, are we talking about beep machines? Beeping machines? Yes. (laughs) Yeah, beeping machines. Yes. That's that's (laughs) something that the the cats are intentionally doing. Good to know. Hmm. Rating time! Rating time! Chris Hudson... One out of a hundred cheese puffs. It's it's got to be cheese puffs. <laughs> what do you give a talking cat? You know, I watched this movie and it made me laugh a lot because there's just so much, so much happens. It's so stupid, and it. I mean, the movie has kind of a heart to it, and it's it's kind of fun, but it's it's not good at by any means. And <laughs> <laughs> I found myself. I want to give it. A pretty low score because it's 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 just a bad movie. But after I finished watching <laughs> you it, you started so positive there. Well, yeah. but I kept thinking about it all day today. <laughs> it just stuck with me. All right, thought, I'm not trying to influence you. Just go I'm ahead. Just, I'm not trying to influence you. <laughs> I just kept thinking about things like the 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 shot with the cat wrapped in the gauze. Just, oh my god, this is so fucking funny. <laughs> Oh. oh my god! And I just keep thinking about just scenes and shots, and just laughing in the middle of my day at work. Isn't that <laughs> worth something? That's yeah. Oh, totally. So I'm raising my score from what I originally thought I would give it. I mean, it's still not a great movie, but I'm gonna give it sixty. I'm gonna drop sixty-five cheese puffs on the floor. Okay, oh. there you go. <sighs> Woo! Uh, my case hit me. Oh, number two, huh? Okay. I think we all know that this boy. It does have a soft spot for real shitty kids movies. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Paul, you picked this one and you knew I was gonna get into this. I thing. knew. I knew what was up. That's then that so that's hard to decide how to rate it because bad kids movies are not most people's cup of tea. Right. So so I'm gonna give it I'm gonna keep it true to me, but I'm gonna keep it a little bit like I don't want someone to look and see how I rated it. 
just without hearing what I'm saying here out of context and think, oh, it's an amazing movie. Mike, I think the rest of our scores will balance that out. <laughs> it, it's just... It's just the director didn't give a shit. Oh, he did about not care anything. about anything. <laughs> he even said it. There's a, a quote I saw, and I won't go look it up again, but there's a quote attributed to him that says people, some of his friends watched it and they they called him and said, Oh my, you finally made a movie we like. We keep watching it. And so he rewatched it and he's like, Yeah, it's so bonkers. I just couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> <laughs> so so I'm like, I love that attitude because that fucking animation of that cat mouth is so bad. <laughs> I like that. I like that he had to rewatch it to figure out what he did during the movie. Yeah. What I do to make people like a movie? All right. So that being said, I I watched it twice and it's not great. It's not great. But if you got some friends and you can drink during it, we, I think we have two solid drinking rules at least. You know, come up with whatever. Um, I'd give it a fifty-seven cheese puffs. Okay. Wow. Jason Halls. Yeah. Um, okay. So. <laughs> I was doing, like I said, I was doing other things the first time I watched this, and it was a pleasant enough experience. If while I'm like doing my other stuff on my computer and I had the movie playing and I was watching it, like it didn't bother me. <laughs> it was it didn't, bother it didn't bother me. I wish that was a quote on the back of the DVD. <laughs> So, I mean, I expected going into this to just give it a real bottom-of-the-barrel score, but I can't, because it was okay. And then, <clears throat> when I watched it again today, and Logan got into it for, you know, a good 20 minutes or so, you know, it, it, it we, sh we shared, you know, a little time together watching a, a B-movie, so that has some value to me, too. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go 62 cheese puffs. <laughs> okay. Just it wow. would have been lower, but those 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 last minute things that we're gonna we're gonna pump it up a little bit just because of that. Yeah. Well, you know, it's it's nice to know that we're on the same page pretty much for this one. And I have to echo really what, what Chris said is that it's the type of thing that kinda accidentally ends up sticking with you. I mean I, I thought yeah. about <laughs> this movie way more than I thought about like three billboards from Ebbing, Missouri or whatever <laughs> fucking Oscar <laughs> shit I saw. <laughs> So, <laughs> no one in the history of the world has ever put those two things together. You just did that. That's a first. Yeah. So, so yeah. With that in mind, I'm I'm gonna kind of hang in there. I'm gonna go uh, 68 cheese puffs. It's a good watch. It's yeah, I, Mike. Like you said, get a couple beers, get a few friends together, and I think you'll have a pretty good time. Yeah. Yeah. You're you know you're right when you said that that you guys keep it keeps popping up into your head. You can't forget you watched it. It is one of those things where I don't want to sit down by myself and watch it again. Yeah. No. So, but but I do kind of want to be like, dude, let's sit down and watch this movie. You got to see this fucking thing. <laughs> and the other thing, uh, and the other thing is, I kind of want to watch more third, like more of his movies, like some thirteen yeah. thirteen shit or whatever. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Fuck it. 66 cheese pops. 66. <laughs> changing my vote. I think there's something also to the value of having Eric Roberts do the cat because oh, it's God. just so absurd. Uh, like if yeah. it wasn't Eric Roberts, I don't think it would be as interesting. But like just knowing it's him makes right. it more just like what? What am I? What am I watching? And just that, just the way he sounds so dis so disinterested in every single line he says. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Recorded in his bathroom. <laughs> God, God. God. Maybe, maybe we didn't talk about him quite enough, but he crushed it. Oh, totally. He totally yeah. crushed it. Totally. Hey, what do you guys think? If you could make the next talking animal movie, what what uh, what animal would you pick? Hmm. A talking cat butt? <laughs> It'd just be a cat's ass <laughs> okay, we, we, we didn't even talk about the gratuitous cat butt shot that happens early on in the film. <laughs> yeah, you see a full cat asshole. Oh, full on <laughs> full cat nudity. On the next episode of B Movie Mania. All right, boys. This time, I'm going to give you a choice. Oh, I have well, two well, movies well. from the same director. What? I'm going to give you. The, I'm going to give you the years, and you tell me what you want. Oh my gosh. Uh, this is a famed director. This man had been making movies since, geez, oh, since 1963 up until, you know, oh, geez, 20, last year. So you can have either 1973 or 
2010. Ooh, oh my gosh. God. This, oh, yeah. this could go. I have an idea. So but right I, and uh, so wrong. I'm going to go 2010. All right, we got one for 2010. I'll do 73. Okay, Paul, you're breaking it. What do you want? I got to go 73. All right. I don't know if mean- we've ever done a 70s yeah. movie. Oh. That means we are going to watch the classic, classic Ted V. Mickles film, <gasps> <gasps> The Doll Squad, baby. Oh, <laughs> nice. yes. If you listen to this out there, it's on Amazon. It's on YouTube. It might be somewhere else. So you could buy it. Like They've been releasing a lot of uh, Ted V. Mickles stuff. But this movie is a squad of beautiful government agents try to catch saboteurs, and that's all you need to know. <laughs> nice, uh, nice. Yeah, it, it's looking real great. I have not watched it yet, but I am excited to. <laughs> iTunes? <laughs> <laughs> Listen up, maniacs. Do you have a question or a comment? Would you like to uh, send some bourbon to Uncle Lloydie? You can contact the gang on Facebook at B-Movie Mania. You can also drop them a line at bmoviemania.com. Reach out. Touch them. They are touching themselves. And they might just reach back. I'm Lloyd Kaufman saying, see you next time on B-Movie Mania. Woohoo! Everybody, if you like what you hear and you like the podcast, it would mean the world to us if you would go and subscribe on any of the podcast machines that you can get a hold of these days. And ratings. Ratings are very important to us. We would love a five-star rating on iTunes, a nice little review. That would be great. Mm-hmm. And uh, meow. 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 I'll translate it for all you cats. Um, and other than that, we'll see you next time on B Movie Mania. Meow. Hey, Logan, you got something to say? Hey, Logan, come here. Do you want to say a talking cat? Tiki cat? Talking cat? Look at me. <laughs> you saying look at me? This one like. Look at me. You sing that. A talking cat? Tiki cat?